Okay, before I get the ball rolling, um, I apologize if there is any hesitation or odd wording um, with what follows. Uh, I'm pretty much doing the spur of the moment while I still have the inspiration to just blurt it out. Um, so, now that your curiosity may or may not be piqued, let's begin. Gather round, listeners, for I'm going to tell you a story. A story that happened in a faraway land where people only have one name. Well, they only need one name, really. Everyone knows who everyone else is, and there's no confusion. Everyone knows their place, and even if they're not content in their place, well, they can change it. <coughs> there's no need for family names, and no one's name is exactly the same, because if they were, how could someone tell who's who? Now the thing about this land is the longer your name is, the more important you are. Length signifies how old your family is, how old you are, what you do for the community and for the kingdom. And your position in the entire world, really. This is the story of how Ulan, Valon, Majin, Shimi, Tazyep met three very peculiar strangers and became Princess Tazyep. Now, Ulan, Bolon, Majin, Maji, Shimi, Tazyep was already a princess. But the thing about being a princess is that when you are the littlest princess, and the princess of least importance, well, it doesn't really matter that you're a princess to begin with because you're the least important princess. More than that, Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziep was not only the least important princess, she was the least important in the entire family. She wasn't the littlest, littlest. There was a littler no prince. But he was still the littlest prince. He was the littlest of all of them. So he was more important than she was. Far more important. But that suited Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziep just fine. For at least a little while. She was a princess after all, so she got pretty dresses. And people had to do what she said. And she liked this. But, when she got a bit older, she wanted to help the kingdom. Unfortunately, all of the bigger princesses and princes and no dukes and nobles had already done everything that had to be done. There was nothing for Lan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Tazia to do. There was nothing she could do to make herself more important. So, as a princess, she had everything she could ever want, but nothing she really needed. And she had, of everything else she had in the world, the most, the biggest part, oh, sorry, this is what I mean about phrasing, <laughs> um, the The thing she was richest in, that's it, the thing she was richest in is not dresses or gold or responsibilities, it was time. Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziap had a lot of free time because everyone else was more important than her in dealing with important things. Now, this may sound like a dream come true. No responsibilities, everything you could ever want, and lots of free time to enjoy it with. But for Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziep, it was not perfect. It had been perfect when she was little, and she didn't realize 
what she was missing out on. When you have a lot of free time, you have a lot of free time to think. And you have a lot of free time to realize how little importance you have and how no one, no one would miss her if she was gone. So she tried to not let this get her down. Instead, she bought her favorite things and took solace in the fact that she did have a little importance. She was important to the baker, to the baker who made her favorite thing in the entire world, turtle bread. Turtle bread was sweet, turtle bread was warm and fluffy, and turtle bread was made just for her. The only reason it was ever made was because Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziep got it into her head that she wanted sweet bread in the shape of turtles to be made by one particular baker. So in that, she had some importance. And it happened one day that she went to the baker to buy her bread, her wonderful turtle bread, because she was feeling very, very little and a very, very littlest, least importance. And as she bought her turtle bread, she saw three strange people walk into the marketplace and walk up to the baker and ask for strawberry sweets. And they were the most particular, peculiar strangers that Ulan, Valon, Maji, Shimi, Taziap had ever seen before. One of them was tall and thin and the color of bone and snow, but he had a mane of bright blue hair. And another one was small and thin, with bitty little hands and bright pink pigtails. And as they bought their sweets, Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziap decided to look a bit closer at the third stranger, the stranger who she hadn't paid much attention to, because this stranger looked perfectly ordinary. The third stranger was small, but not small like the other two were small. She was small like Ulan, Bodon, Maji, Shimi, Taziap was small, and she had pigtails. And that was a very common style in the land where Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziap lived. The only thing strange about her was how ordinary she looked compared to her two companions. So the baker handed over all of the strawberry sweets he had. There were cake rolls. There were slices of cake. There were donuts and more rolls and more little cakes. And Ulan Volon Maji Shimi Taziap saw that they looked strange, but the strangers were acting strangely, so she turned to enjoy her sweet bread, her sweet turtle bread that she was responsible for having made when the tallest stranger asked her a question. Hi, he said. I'm Finn Finian, an adventurer. Um, is there any sort of quests we can do, or are there monsters around here? And Ulan, Volon, Majishimi Taziak didn't know what to say. She didn't know. No one bothered talking to the princess of least importance who is the littlest to boot. So she shook her head. And the tallest adventurer, who called himself Finfinian, 
looked a bit disappointed, but bit into a <coughs> but bit into a Swiss roll and turned it away. And then the littlest of the strangers turned around and said, "I'm so sorry, you have for big brothers a." Uh, uh, for Big Brother's bad manners. Um, what's your name? Mine's Lottie. And Ulan, Bologne, Maji, Shimi, Taziep did not know what to say because everyone, even though she was the least important princess and the littlest of the princesses, everyone knew who she was. Uh... My name is Ulan Balon Maji Shimi Taziap, she replied. And now the tallest stranger turned around again. That's really long, he said in a very stunned way. Do, does everyone call you that every single time? And Ulan, Volon, Maji, Shimi, Taziap shook her head, because no one really called her anything. And then she remembered. Once, a handful of times, her parents had remembered her, and then called her Ulvo. So, she took a breath and said, well, my family calls me Ulvo, but I don't... I don't like that. You can call me UV. And the blue-haired stranger and the pink-haired strangers, stranger looked at each other and nodded sagely and said, The names you pick are the best names, and turned around and enjoyed their sweets again. Well, now, Ulon, Volon, Majishimi, Taziep, or UV, had quite enough of these strange strangers and their sweets and their brightly colored hairs and she turned around quite fed up with having all of these questions asked of her when she heard a very soft very quiet voice a perfectly ordinary voice ask do you like your name Ulan Valu ah, and Ulvo turned around and stared at the perfectly ordinary looking stranger. The stranger seemed embarrassed. She was red faced and she was wringing her hands and refused to look at UV's eyes. And in an even quieter voice said, I only ask because you didn't seem happy when you said your name, you sounded like it was something you had to say. Ulan <laughs> and <coughs> Ulan Volon Maji Shimi Taziap stared at the ordinary stranger, the perfectly ordinary looking stranger, who was asking such thoughtful comments of a princess of no importance at all. And the stranger wrung her hands and looked from side to side and said, never mind, it's not important. And she went to turn away. And Ulon Vali and UV put her hand on the stranger's shoulder and said, no, you're right, I don't like my name. There was a gasp from the brightly colored strangers. And then the perfectly ordinary stranger looked UV right in the eye and said, Then what would you like to be called? Ulan Valu Ulan Valu and the Maji Shimi Taziap was flabbergasted and speechless. No one ever asked her what she wanted. She was a princess. She shouldn't want for anything. And she was the princess of least importance. So who would care? But this stranger did. So, 
UV took a breath and said, Tezya, I like that. You can call me Tezya. And she shared a moment with that perfectly ordinary stranger. They just looked at each other in absolute silence until loudly, loudly, with much force, the tallest stranger flung his arms around them and said, Well then, Taz, yep. Welcome to the adventurers. And the smallest stranger and the smallest stranger said, Oh, cool! Yay! This is great! And the perfectly ordinary stranger just looked at Tazia and shook her head with a fond smile and very quietly pulled Tazia in and said, Well, you're not going to get rid of us now. And that is how Princess Ulan Volon Majishimi Taziep became Taziep, and the trio became a quartet. I hope you all enjoyed that story, and though it ended up way longer than I thought, um, I have to go and eat now. <laughs> Bye, everyone.